Hi, I'm Dr. Margaret Collins-Hill with Consults in Hypertension in Wilmington, North Carolina. The question this evening is how to lower triglycerides. When you have your triglycerides measured by your doctor, he or she will ask you to fast because immediately after eating, your triglyceride levels may be very high. Triglycerides definitely are put into the pot of bad cholesterol and are considered when you are thinking about reducing your risk of atherosclerosis, which causes heart attacks, strokes, and other vessel diseases. To be fair, however, the data supporting lowering triglycerides is a little more shaky. Triglycerides ideally are less than 150, and generally at the level of 200 and above, they are treated with medication. There are certain inherited disorders where triglycerides are extremely high, and this may cause not only atherosclerosis, but pancreatic damage and other problems. When you have your triglyceride levels checked, be sure that you've eaten nothing between 10 and 12 hours prior to the test. Your LDL, or bad cholesterol, will also have to be measured in this circumstance. When you sit down with your doctor, he will tell you, he or she will tell you, the level of your bad cholesterol and your good cholesterol. Bad cholesterol increases your risk of cardiovascular disease. Good cholesterol lowers it. So when you're thinking about triglyceride levels, think about it in the bigger picture. Lowering cholesterol, in addition to controlling blood pressure and diabetes, not smoking, and trying to live a healthy lifestyle with plenty of fruits and vegetables, low fats, and plenty of fiber, will help you avoid heart attacks, strokes, and the other ravages of atherosclerotic disease. So, know your triglycerides, know your cholesterol.